everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K channel on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News channel. And if you can do me a favor and subscribe to both channels, if you haven't already, that would be great. So anyway, let's jump right into it. Mr. Nate Parker, who I love dearly, I love all of his work. He has released a trailer for a new movie that he has coming out called American Skin. January 15, 2021. So that's, you know, roughly a month from now. And I wish I could play it for you here, but I cannot do the copyright, you know, issues and all of that. But I will include a link for you to go to his Twitter so that you can see uh, the trailer. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. To me, um, it's an ultimate movie of Get Back. And I'll just say that and leave it at that so you can see it. But it's a must watch trailer. But what I really want to tell you is this. You guys probably also remember um, right around the time uh, The Birth of a Nation, which is to me an epic film. It's one of the greatest films. I really love that film because it was telling us about the life of Nat Turner, who was a revolutionary. He was a slave who was trying to fight for his freedom. Not even trying, he was fighting for his freedom. And um, he had a couple of people to go along with him until you guys know the story. Please check that movie out if you haven't already seen it. But when that movie came out, uh, there was a whole lot of backlash. His past was brought up right now. Remember, Nate Parker is not only a writer, director, producer, he's also an actor. And so you've seen him in a copious amount of movies and you didn't really hear much about his past. And I'll get into that in just a second briefly, because I don't think we should belabor that. Um, you didn't hear much about his past when he was coming out with, you know, regular movies that were more palatable to, I would say, that of white supremacy, right? So he comes out with The Birth of a Nation that talked about Nat Turner, who, you know, let's just call it what it was. He went out and killed his master and other white people because he was enlightened once he found out the truth about why he was in the condition he was in as a slave, right? And so, of course, we know white supremacy, they do not want us to uh, get any like radical ideas, right? We've seen that play out through history about what happens to black people when they get radical ideas. It was always said that um, they wanted to stop the rise of a black messiah and the greatest threat to America is black unity. And so if you have those type of movies and those thought processes come out to the masses of black people, it might give us some ideas, right? And so the backlash with the birth of a nation really quick. You had all kind of people writing articles talking about his um, rape case uh, that he was exonerated uh, from. He was found not guilty and all of that. This was probably 20 years ago or so, right? And so this or that rather the rape case came out and it's like, oh, how dare him? And, you know, this, that and the other blah, blah, blah. And so uh, it helped tank the movie. Now, it tanked the movie in the box office. It should have done great numbers, but it did not because of the negativity that came along with it, right? And so what I want to say to you great people is this. Please, please, please do not allow white supremacy and tools of white supremacy, a.k.a. Shea Butter Twitter, and y'all know who Shea Butter Twitter is, do not allow them to do what they did to the birth of a nation because American Skin is also a must-see movie just from the trailer that I saw, right? I'm like, wow, whoa, okay? Now, some of you all have probably seen the movie The Spook Who Sat by the Door. It's a movie um, that came out in 1973, I, I believe it was. And it to me, in my opinion, now you guys have probably seen it, maybe have a different opinion, but in my opinion, I believe that uh, it was Sam Greenlee. He was the author of the book and it eventually turned into a movie. I think he was giving black people the blueprint because at the end of the movie, the movie is unwritten, right? And so to me, I interpreted it as it's up to you all to decide how this movie will end. Now, again, that was 1973 and here we are in 2020. And to me, just looking at the trailer of American Skin, I kind of got the spook who sat by the door vibes, right? And so I'm just telling y'all, as black people, please, let's go see this movie. Let's support 
Nate Parker because Nate Parker has continuously put it on the line for black people. And I'll say this, he could be making any movie he wants to make. He doesn't have to make movies that highlight black people in a, um, a dominant role and really, you know, taking the forefront and the control of our lives, especially here in America. He doesn't have to do that. He can go do anything else. And, you know, it also reminds me of another great revolutionary. And I'll go out and call it like it is Ice Cube. You guys know Ice Cube is, you know, still low key kind of being dragged for him trying to get something for black America. Remember when he submitted his contract with black America to Trump and Biden. And then when, you know, tools of white supremacy, I'm gonna call it what it is. Some black people found out that he did that. Not admittedly it wasn't all black people, but dang, right? We should not have been leading that charge on that. When they found out he was working with Trump, they lost their minds and, you know, they're canceling them and all of that. And I'm like, wow, you know, Ice Cube has a lot of money. He doesn't need to be doing what he's doing for black people. He can go off wherever he lives in the hills, gated community, I'm sure, and live his rich life. But he put it on the line for black people. And so we as black people need to stop getting in bed with white supremacy and, you know, canceling people who are trying to help us that really don't need to help us at this point, right? And so let's go see that movie, American Skin. Let's go see it in droves like we went and saw Black Panther and like we go see everything else, right? And I should also say Spike Lee is behind this movie. I love, love, love Spike Lee. I don't care what nobody says. I love Spike Lee. And so to me, it's two powerhouses together bringing a movie that we absolutely need to go see, American Skin. And as, again, as I said, I can't play the trailer for you, although I would love to, but you can go to his page and I'm going to include the link here so that you can uh, click on the link and go watch this must see trailer. And I'm sure it's on YouTube as well, but it's called American Skin by Nate Parker. And so again, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, the Demetra K channel on YouTube. You guys have a great day. Peace.